Right, here we, here we go again guys, we're just about to start again. Uh, just uploaded one video, I, I'm gonna go to the toilet after I've done this um, next preaching, but oh Lord, anoint my heart with your words, I pray. Let your words flow from my, anoint my tongue in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. May you be glorified, may we be bold as lions. In Jesus' name, Lord. Thank you, amen. In Jesus' name. Um, I just, just want to say to hello quickly people, um, we're out on the streets of Leeds, so please pray for the descendant of the Holy Spirit to come down. Yeah, um, please pray for Rob as well, that is with yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, pray for our mate Rob, well our brother Rob. Um, what we need is people to receive the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. They just need to, ch like with childlike faith, just accept what he did, and that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. God yeah. made it so simple. Yeah, we're in times now where, 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 where shelf life, uh, the prophecy is shelf life. It's grace. Coming to a, we're saved end. by God's grace through faith and that not yeah. ourselves. It's the gift of God. Yeah, the church age is coming to an end. It so is the dispensation of the church. We just want people on that ark, don't we say? Yeah, yeah, let's you go know? for it. Let's go right, for all it. right, amen. Amen. God bless you, Leeds. We have come here to tell you that time is short, that Jesus Christ is coming. And if you haven't believed, if you haven't accepted what Jesus did for you on that cross, then we urge you and implore you to do it now and not don't waste any more time because I know that time is almost up and the great tribulation apocalypse will begin very shortly. But first, the Lord Jesus Christ is going to descend from heaven. He's not going to touch down, but he's going to descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpets of God, and the dead in Christ are going to be resurrected first, and then all believers, all true Christians, which are alive and remain, are going to be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air, in the rapture, so don't be left behind. The rapture is about to take place any moment now. So please, lay hold of your salvation. Jesus said, the Lord Jesus said, unless you become like little children and be converted, then you will never see the kingdom of heaven. So please, acknowledge what the Bible says is true, that we have all sinned, we have all broken God's commandments. Jesus said, we have all broken God's commandments, and we all fall short of the glory of God. And the Bible says that the wages, or the penalty, or the end of sin is death. That means hell. And Jesus said, except you repent, then you will perish, which means you land in hell. Except you believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will end up in hell. God's only asking you to believe. He's not asking you to uh, be good and work your way into salvation. No, God is asking you just once in your heart to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ, which is in the Bible, 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4, how that Jesus died on the cross for all our sins according to the scriptures and he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. That's the blessed everlasting gospel. And if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If you believe that Jesus did that for you on the cross, he paid the penalty in full for your lifetime of sin. He shed his blood for the forgiveness of all your sin, your past, present and future sin. He was buried in a tomb, but God raised him to life on the third day because he is the Son of God, Jesus Christ. And when you believe that in your heart and you call upon Jesus, you will be saved. That's how simple it is. It's not about going to church. It's not about being religious. It's simply having some faith. Have some faith, people. Believe. That's all. That's all God's asking. He's looking at your heart. He's saying, will you let me give you my free gift of everlasting life? And all you have to do is receive it by faith, by believing. Yes, Jesus did indeed die on that cross to pay the penalty in full for our lifetime of sin. He was buried. He rose again from the dead on the third day, according to the scriptures. That's the best blessing gospel. Just believe that in your heart. Call upon Jesus. You will be saved.
saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. Be a whosoever. Stop gambling. Stop gambling with your soul. Stop taking the gamble. There's no heaven. There's no hell. Stop taking the gamble. But Jesus Christ isn't who he says he is. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus Christ said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. He will go in and out and find pasture. The thief, Satan, he comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy. The devil, the god of this age, is, is, this, is a father of lies. He's the father of lies, Satan the devil. And he's come to steal, kill and destroy. And he wants to distract you away from the Lord Jesus. So that you don't believe. So that you go to hell. And don't let him lay hold of your salvation by doing one thing only. Believe in your heart that yes, Jesus died on the cross for all our sins. He was buried. He rose again from the dead on the third day according as it is written. Believe this in your heart. That's all God's asking of you. Call upon Jesus and you will be saved. And it does not matter what you're doing or what you've done. Because Jesus will accept you just as you are. God is love. And he's not willing that any one of you should perish in outer darkness in hell for eternity. He wants all to be saved. Just as it is written. God wants all to be saved. As it is written, all can be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. When you believe that gospel, you will be saved. That's it. When you believe the truth, you need saving. You need forgiveness of sin. Because we have all sinned like the Bible says. Romans 3, 23. All have sinned and all fall short of the glory of God. And the wages, the penalty of sin is death. That means hell. But the free gift of God, which God wants to give everyone, is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For everybody that believes, it doesn't matter if you're a Muslim, it doesn't matter if you're gay, it doesn't matter if you're transgender, if you will but believe the gospel, the truth of the gospel, you will be saved. Because God is very gracious. The Lord God is gracious and full of compassion to anger and with great mercy. God's mercies are higher than the heavens. So don't feel that you're too unworthy or that God won't accept you because he will on one condition that you believe. Believe on him. What he did for you on the cross. How that Christ paid the penalty in full on that cross. He shed his blood because it is written, there is no forgiveness of sin without the shedding of blood. And God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to be a sacrifice to shed his blood on the cross for a lifetime of sin. And he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. Believe this in your heart, that's all. Believe it truly. Call upon Jesus and boom, you'll be saved. Saved with everlasting life. Your name shall be written in heaven. Your name shall be written in the book of life. You'll be sealed with holy spirits of promise. You'll be sanctified, justified by the shed blood of Jesus. And you'll have a one-way ticket to heaven. And you'll escape the damnation of hell. Hell is a place of outer darkness. Where people go who reject the love of the truth. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And if you reject the Lord Jesus, you will find yourself in hell, in outer darkness, weeping and wailing, utterly consumed with terrors forever and ever. And God doesn't want that. He wants all to be saved, like the Bible says. And time is short. Please accept the Lord Jesus. Just believe in your heart what he did for us on the cross. Come on, admit it. We've all sinned. We all fall short of the glory of God. I'm the chief sinner. I've sinned so much. I was a drug addict. I was an alcoholic. I did sex, drugs, and rock and roll. And the Lord forgave me. I believe. That's why. That's why he forgave me. Because I believe that, yes, he did indeed die on that cross for me. 
I knew in my heart that he rose again from the dead. I called upon him. I said, come into my life, Lord Jesus. And he did. And he saved me. And he poured out his love into my heart. Such great love that I'd never known before. And he'll do the same for you if you will but believe. Yes, he did die on that cross for all our sin. Yes, he was buried in the tomb. Yes, he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That if you shall confess with with it, if you shall confess in your mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Save yourselves from this untoward and wicked generation. Lay hold of your salvation and your eternal security by believing the one true gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. You need saving because we've all sinned. Come on, be honest. We've all sinned. We've all lied. We've, most of us have committed fornication. Most of us have stolen. Come on, be humble. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. All God is asking is that you humble yourself and recognize, yes, of course we've all sinned. Like the Bible says, we've all transgressed and broken God's commandments. Come on, be humble. Just admit it. Yes, of course we have sinned. Then believe on Jesus who paid your life's lifetime sin debt on that cross. Jesus died for our sins according as it is written. He was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day as it is written. And you believe that when you know that Jesus died for you on that cross and you call upon him, you'll be saved. That's the only requirement God is asking is you believe in your heart the death, burial and resurrection of the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. God has made it so simple for you to be saved and enter into heaven and escape the damnation of hell. He's only asking one thing from you, for you to be honest, for you to be humble, recognize, yes, of course we've all sinned, like the Bible says, and then just believe that Jesus paid the penalty in full on the cross for all our sin. He was buried and rose again from the dead on the third day, according to the scriptures. Come on, believe it, guys. Time is short. The devil, he's trying to distract you away from the Lord Jesus. He will use TV. He will use gaming, game stations. He will use whatever he can to distract you away from the Lord Jesus so that you don't believe, so that you don't get saved, and you end up in hell, in outer darkness, forever and ever. Please believe the truth. God loves you. It doesn't matter what you're doing, what you've done. Just believe the truth of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Time is short. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming. I didn't realize we've got over 30 minutes.